How you doing? I'm Eric Ruck, and we are talking about the 2012 Phoenix Project from Ronix today. And one of the things I want to talk about is uh, kind of the way that riding the Phoenix has kind of evolved my riding style, brought it to different levels, kind of changed my whole outlook on the way a wakeboard is ridden behind the boat and behind the cable or in a park. Over the last 10 years of riding the Pro Tour, won some titles, good stuff happened, on traditional technology, I kind of felt like I've gone as far as I could go, and I, there's kind of a void. And then getting the opportunity to uh, ride for Ronix and work on the uh, Phoenix project has kind of evolved my riding in a whole new light. Because one thing I always felt on a traditional board is that there's a lack of feeling. Kind of, you don't feel the water as much, and uh, there was a lack of energy too. On the Phoenix, Hands down, the favorite thing about it for me is the way the water feels, the way you're connected to the water, the way the board feels alive and is conducting energy through you, through the water, and you're more or less one with everything that's going on. One of the reasons you have so much feeling on this board is because of stored energy. And stored energy is the way this board pops, rides. Now, the pop on this board is more or less a feeling. On traditional boards, it's a timing thing where you're timing, you know, going up the wake and, you know, feeling the rope with the pressure and all that. But on this board, you're more or less feeling the pressure build. And if you're patient enough, that's when you really, really feel its maximum pop. Cool thing about this board for other sports is its crossover feeling. As it's exploding off the wake, it's a very patient, later pop, which is very similar towards a skateboard ollie or coming off of a, a kicker on a snowboard. The where you lay, the better pop you have. Also, it's the same as in riding a snowboard down the hill. On a snowboard, you can feel the contours of the mountain and, you, you know, the same thing with the Phoenix. When you're riding it, you feel the chop of the water or else everything has more of an intense feeling and more of a board control rather than just plowing through the water. For those of you that don't have the super patient pop and uh, are just, you know, into a smoother cut, a smoother landing, a smoother takeoff, this board is super forgiving and just an all-around, well-rounded board that basically is just for fun. You can go out here and, you know, throw a couple buckets and do some butter slides and a couple wake 180s and it basically makes you have to reinvent kind of your riding style and look at things from a little different angle. This happens because of the softer layup, thinner tip and tails, blended bevel, and the consistent, continuous rocker. The thing that's truly mind-blowing about this board is its versatility. On the wake, it gives you that super late pop, snowboardy skate feeling, and it also has super smooth takeoffs and landings. On rails, it gives you that extra feeling that you're looking for when you're nose pressing, your tail pressing, or just even your ollie into the rail. And in the park, you're right at home, off of kickers, smooth landings. With a centered base, I feel like I have more feeling and more control when I'm riding rails, without losing any glide speed on the water. The Phoenix also comes with four ramp fins and four rail fins. In addition to a thinner tip and tail, it has a blended glass to help exaggerate the stored energy. This year, we have a wider stance option, but if you like it narrow and that's your personal preference, you can do that too. We also have the fiberglass crypto cable, which makes the boards torsionally stiffer and bulletproof on rails. If you ever wondered why there's number five on the Phoenix, it's because we work with a group that made the first wakeboard, first boots, first surfer, first wake skate, and now we have this. Phoenix, which stored energy, which basically has brought a whole new light to the way you look at wakeboarding, the way you feel a wakeboard, the way a wakeboard feels on the water, and your connection to the board. If you're looking for a high-end board that's an alternative to an aggressive, abrupt pop, you have the Phoenix Project. The board I'm riding right now, I feel, is the most diverse board on the market today. But if you're the kind of guy that's only going to be riding park or cable, then you should check out the Phoenix Park Edition. I'm Eric Ruck, take it easy.